Galilee. Yes. And we will know that because the water in the Sea of Galilee would have dried up. That is the time when these events are now going to take place. The advent of Imam al-Mahdi, Dajjal appearing in a day which is like our day, so we'll see him as a Jew, etc. And the son of Mary coming down. I can say that I expect the Sea of Galilee to dry up in about 50 years. Because it is when the water in the Sea of Galilee dries up that the son of Mary will come back down. Go and read your Sahih Muslim. It is at that time, and go and notice the water level in the Sea of Galilee now. It is lower than it has ever been before in history. And, and so the Hadith of the Prophet Muhammad is now moving to center stage. If I say 50 years, and if I say I can be wrong, at least I'm giving you a wake-up call. A wake-up call that you're living in the age of the countdown. So don't be fighting each other over chicken feed. That's what you're doing in South Africa in particular. The ulama fighting with each other. Sectarian conflicts over chicken feed. While this hugely important subject is so far away from them, it is unbelievable. When the water in the Sea of Galilee is drying up, then in Sahih Muslim we are told, a Muslim ruler will die and there will be disagreement concerning succession. And then a man is going to come out of Mecca. His name will be my name and his father's name will be my father's name. Said the Prophet ﷺ. He'll have a broad forehead and a large nose. And he'll be known as Al-Mahdi. And he'll hurry from, from Medina to Mecca. As he approaches Mecca, people are going to come out to him. So this has to be a well-known person. Not some obscure non-entity. A well-known person. When the people of Mecca come out to him, they'll force him to accept the bay'ah. The oath of allegiance which legitimizes the leadership of the Amir al muminin He will accept the bay'ah at the Kaaba and then proclaim himself to be al-Mahdi. So stop asking these foolish questions. Is he born already? Is he in Lebanon? Or maybe in Indonesia? That's foolishness. Al-Mahdi cannot emerge until the water has dried in the Sea of Galilee. So stop these foolish questions. There are going to be eclipses of the sun and the moon that month. But after he proclaims himself Al-Mahdi, he's going to be attacked from an army, with an army from Sham. That army comes down to the south and armies are under the control of governments. And when that army is between Medina and Mecca going down south, the earth is going to open and swallow that army. That is the sign of all signs. Beyond the shadow of a doubt, validating the claim of this man that he is the Mahdi. There is a hadith in Sahih Muslim that a Khalifa will die and there will be disagreement concerning succession. I think you already guessed. Who could it be? Oh, the answer is clear. <laughs> it has to be a Saudi king. We could have 5,000 princes out there waiting, struggling, fighting to take over. And there's already sufficient evidence of internal conflicts and rivalries within the big Saudi